Dr. Ted Naiman, eating tons of protein will not spike your blood sugar. So if you go back and look at the obesity graph, right, we've all seen the obesity graph somewhere in the 70s. It took this sharp uptick and then just took off and it's been climbing ever since. And if you look at macros back then and exactly what happened, carbs and fats went up dramatically in the 70s and protein, absolute protein stayed exactly the same. And what this represented was protein dilution. We dumped a bunch of sugar, flour, and oil into the food supply, pretty much equal carbs and fats, but all just empty calories. So we literally had to eat more to get the same amount of protein because you know we're going to try to conserve the absolute amount of protein we eat. And that Honestly, if you run the numbers, that really could explain the entire obesity epidemic. And it was basically turning to bulk refining and transportation of sugar, flour, and oil. All of a sudden, every grocery store on the, in the country had all these processed foods that had a lot of protein dilution with sugar, flour, and oil because these foods are cheap and they have really long shelf life and they're a lot more portable and they were convenient and everyone just started eating this stuff. Here's the question. Does blood glucose spike after eating protein? And I, I've done a lot of research into this and I've pulled every study I can get my hands on and I've realized that that's basically a giant load of crap. Like I have study after study of people eating protein and then tracking glucose afterwards and it really doesn't go up unless you're a type 1 diabetic with absolutely no insulin. And then you will see increases in blood sugar, even then not so much from gluconeogenesis, but rather from glycogen release from the liver. Gluconeogenesis, the generation of glucose from non-carbohydrate carbon substrates in the liver. This whole gluconeogenesis thing is really kind of, kind of overblown and kind of ridiculous. And most people can eat a ton of protein without converting much of it into glucose. Your body just deaminates it and um, then you oxidize the carbon skeletons in your mitochondria just like you would anything else. The reality is if you take someone who's uh, type 2 diabetic and feed them more protein, their blood sugar actually goes down and their 24-hour glucose area goes down about 40% if you double their protein intake. So Honestly, eating more protein for a diabetic will lower their overall blood sugar. And for a normal subject eating protein, even a ton of protein, their blood sugar doesn't go up at all. I have, I have studies where people ate two pounds of meat and then watched their blood sugar over the next six hours, and it didn't go up at all, like none, like zero. In this chart of obesity in the United States from 1955 to 2000, you can see that the trend up begins in the mid-70s. And it's the same with carbohydrates. They went way up starting in the 70s. And again with fat, meaning vegetable oil, again, went way up in the 70s. Dr. Neiman says, we had to eat more to get the same amount of protein because our body will try to conserve or maintain the absolute amount of protein that we eat. This alone could explain the whole obesity epidemic that we're facing. Due to the change in bulk refining and transportation of sugar, flour, and oil, suddenly every grocery store had all of these processed foods that had a lot of protein dilution with sugar, flour, and oil. Processed foods are cheap, they have long shelf life, more portable, very convenient. Here's the question, does blood glucose spike after eating protein? Dr. Neiman says, I researched every study, the answer is no. The studies show that after eating protein, blood glucose does not go up. Unless you're a type 1 diabetic with absolutely no insulin, then it will go up. This is due to the glycogen release from the liver. Gluconeogenesis, the generation of glucose from non-carbohydrate carbon substrates in the liver. Dr. Neyman says, the gluconeogenesis phenomenon is overblown. Most people can eat a ton of protein without it converting into glucose. Your body will deaminate, remove an amino group, 
from the protein. Then you oxidize the carbon skeleton in your mitochondria. In reality, if you take a type 2 diabetic, give them lots of protein, their blood glucose will go down. And the 24-hour blood glucose test shows it down 40% if the protein is doubled. For type 2 diabetics, eating protein will lower their glucose. For non-diabetics, eating a ton of protein will not make the glucose rise. For example, in one study, participants ate two pounds of meat, and over six hours, they had no rise in glucose. 